from the gateway to showbiz glory. This is Hollywood 411. Joining me now, Tara Summers, who plays Katie Lloyd. Welcome. And Thank you. This is kind of bittersweet. Uh, I am a huge fan of the show and have enjoyed it for all five years, but uh, it's going away this Monday. It's really sad. It's going away. I don't think it's sweet. I think it's just bitter. It's just bitter? Okay, it's good. Bitter. Yeah. Uh, it is tough. I mean, and it's... Not funny, but it's uh, kind of ironic because as TV fans, people around the country, we watch these shows and we're like, oh, it's saying goodbye. But for you, you're really? out of a job. I'm out of a job. <laughs> I'm out of a job and I've said goodbye to my big dysfunctional American family and I'm going to miss everyone. I cried all day on the last day. Did you, it's, yeah. it's that kind of a cast. It really is. It's that kind of cast and crew. They, they, it's intertwined. No one, there's no hierarchy. There's no cliques. It's just everybody gets along and everybody's friends. Because they've all been working together for so because long. Because from the outside looking in, uh, you have these characters, very eclectic characters. I mean, I'm talking about the actual actors mm -hmm. themselves, like Shatner and Spader and Candace Bergen and Lara Kett, you see. That is a, a strange mix. It is. How does it all come together on set? Very smoothly. I think we were interested to see how the dynamic between Lara Kett and Shatner was going to be the beginning. Right. Because his character is essentially coming in to sort of take over. And I think for, for Bill, it, you know, seeing John Lara Kett walk in must have been a bit... So it was a, they did a little dance. Obviously, you're not going to give give away the finale and how this <clears throat> all ends, but I, it's always very interesting to see how great shows uh, like MASH or Cheers or how how do you you know put that cherry on, on top? How do you finish it? How do you say goodbye? Uh, did did you guys struggle doing that? I I don't think David struggled. I think he went out with a bang. I mean, us as cast members struggled. Look for an explosion. Yeah, huge. <laughs> you can hear the sirens in the background. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but, no, I'd say in terms of series finales, this one's pretty... Grand. Grand. Okay. Yeah. I, I love your... One of my favorite characters on the show is Jerry. Yeah. And your relationship with Jerry has yes. been fantastic. What, it's got to be great to play uh, alongside such a quirky uh, character as Jerry. It really is. And he's such a... Uh, Christian is such a great actor and uh -huh. he gives so much. But it, it's so funny because each week you'll read in the script, oh, now he could choose. And now, you know, he gets like a new tick every week. So you're like, how am I supposed to respond to that without laughing? But well, that's the um, thing is you have to treat it very seriously very on the show. Very seriously, because it's a, I mean, it's a very serious thing to have Asperger's. Yeah. Um, and he does it, he treats it so seriously and so tenderly that everyone else kind of adjusts and responds to it. So it's not like he's poking fun because he really has empathy for that character. Well, it's going to be tough for us to say goodbye, but uh, you guys will on Monday. And then uh, you're off for the holidays. Uh, where are the holidays going to take you? They're going to take me to London for a couple of weeks and then Uruguay. How do you, what's in Uruguay? Uruguay. Uh, I well, just like the way we say Uruguay. Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of South American people are going to hate me after this. <laughs> Uruguay. Um, my, my family has a place there, so I'm going to go horse riding. Brilliant. Yeah. And, and then what? Uh, I mean, because obviously then, this, is, this is gone, uh, Boston Legal, so what's next for you? I'm available. All right, where do we find you? Call, call the agent. No, so uh, what else do you have going on? You have a pilot? You have anything new? Yes, I'm, I'm uh, producing and, and uh, starring in a pilot um, about publicists, actually, which, um, about L.A. and publicity, yeah. uh, which is very funny, and we're going to sell that, hopefully, um, and then wait and see. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, have you enjoyed, and does the cast enjoy watching, uh, at the end of the show, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the charisma and charm between uh, Denny Crane and Spader's character as they sit there? Uh, I assume that's probably, and I hope that's the way we're going to go out at the end of this. Uh, those two sitting there, we'll see. I know, there's a big bang. Um, <laughs> but it's just great chemistry between those two. Have you guys enjoyed watching them work oh, together? So much, so much. That relationship to me is one of the most romantic and beautiful platonic relationships yeah. I've ever come across. It's Are you sure it's platonic? Well, wait and see. <laughs> wow, it is going to be a big bang. Uh, Tara, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet Enjoy you the too. holidays, Thank and you. we'll see you where uh, you're working next spring, all right? Let's see, yeah. You can and you will watch the two hour series finale of Boston Legal. It is Monday at 9, 8 Central on ABC as we all say goodbye to a great show.